Hi guys, I'm Paul from Love Logs and today I'm going to show you how to cook this epic wood-fired lamb on your fire pit or caddi. So my first job is to set up the caddi. Now mine's had a long hard winter. It hasn't been used much and we moved house so I think it might need just a little bit of TLC. So let's get going. So I've got quite a lot of ash in here and the ash and the caddi stones are both wet. So I'm just going to have a bit of a drying fire before we set up to cook. So this is one of our Caddi specialist products. This has got 12 inch beach cooking splits, 8 inch beach cooking splits, some hardwood kindling, in this case this is oak, and a pack of fire lighters. And I'm going to be pairing the Caddi with some thicker logs, so these are 10 inch beech and ash logs. So my fire lighters have caught and my fire's catching. I'm gonna get the caddi set up for cooking just while this dries out a bit. And because of the damp, it might get a bit smoky. So I'm gonna head inside and get my lamp prepped. Getting this tripod on right first time is literally the hardest thing about using a caddi. Couldn't be more chuffed with that. So we are getting a little bit of dirty smoke off this as it dries out, but not too bad. I'm gonna let this new wood burn down a little bit and then I'm gonna split my fire in two. Once we hang the lamb, we're going to be cooking it from both sides of the fire bowl. So I've split the fire and we've got two nice fires going either side of the caddi. So it's time to get this lamb hung. So we're going to start the lamb hung this way, so we need to find a place for the hook up at the bone end. So that's nice and tight on, and you want to make sure this isn't going anywhere. As this lamb cooks, obviously it can soften, and you don't want to lose this in the fire. So my lamb is hung, and I just want to check the temperatures of my fire. So I've got very high heat on this side. You probably saw that from my reaction. The risk if I cook like that is burning on this side and not cooking evenly on this side. So I'm just gonna balance out my fire so I feel like I've got balanced heat. So all I've done is literally move my fires that little bit closer to the edge of the bowl. I'm going to take this inside and find something to catch all the beautiful juices that are going to run off this lamp. So I've got two stable fires and now I've just got two things to think about. The first is to keep these fires running at about this intensity. And the second is to manage the heat exposure of the lamb by lowering and raising. Right now, I'm happy that I've got my fires under control and I'm gonna drop my lamb down and give it some more intense heat. So you can see we're starting to get some beautiful color on this lamb. I'm gonna give this a quarter turn just to aid even cooking. And I'm gonna wait for a little bit more color on the lamb and then I'm gonna start adding more layers of flavor. So having managed the fire so far just with the small splits, I've started adding the bigger logs. Some people think that bigger logs equals more heat, but it's actually the opposite. The bigger logs are gonna burn a little bit slower, meaning I have to manage the fire a little bit less. So I haven't done a lot with this lamb so far. I think we can all agree that this is a pretty epic way to cook a leg of lamb. And so my personal preference is just to take it nice and easy. No rub, no marinade. All I've done with this lamb is a dry brine overnight in the fridge. What I have got is just a very simple basting liquid and a sprig of fresh herbs. So this is thyme, rosemary and sage, all fresh, just tied up into a little brush. And in my basting liquid is British rapeseed oil, lemon juice, a tiny bit of red wine vinegar and some pepper. Super, super simple. 
and I'm just going to base this by eye. There's no magic formula here, this is rustic cooking with a rustic approach. So this lamb is starting to look beautiful and it's time to start probing for temperature. Obviously we're going to be cooking quicker at the bottom than at the top and this lamb is going to need a flip. Just by sight, I think that time is about now. So my probe temperatures are from 60 degrees down at the bottom tip of the lamb here up to about mid 30s at the top. So it's definitely time to flip this lamb around. We're going for a medium lamb today because that's the way we like it. So we're aiming for something in the 65 to 70 degrees territory. Obviously with this style of cooking, there's a risk you're not going to nail it like you nail a steak, but we can go for a pretty good average. So, lamb on nice and securely, it's re-hung, and now we're back to just fire and temperature management. Now we've got such a big bed of embers, we don't need such a live active flame for heat. So I'm really happy with where this is up to. And we can see this side here is getting cooked and coloured more than this side here. And that's because my lamb's on an angle. So I'm just going to give it a flip, get it rebalanced. So we're now probing it almost done on the top side here, but only about mid to high 40s on the bottom side. So I'm going to look to concentrate my heat on this side and we'll get the bottom side of the lamb finished off. Really simple fire management technique. If you can't move your food, move your fire. So that's us done. The lamb's probing between 60 and 65 degrees C all the way through. So it's time to pull it off, give it a rest, and then we'll carve into it and see how we got on. So this has had a 30 minute rest. As you can see, I rested it under our little basting brush of fresh herbs and I tipped the rest of the basting liquid on top. So it's time, let's carve into it and see how we did. So this is absolutely perfectly cooked for us. It's a beautifully moist, medium rare to medium, which is pretty much exactly how we like our lamb. Mmm, that is amazing. So you've got a delicate wood smoke flavour, but what hits you is that herby, citrusy flavour, and that's like bang, in the face, followed through by the richness of the lamb. It's spring, we're going to start having friends over in the garden. If you've got a caddite or a fire pit, I implore you to try cooking in this way. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Unreal.